On the 11th of October, 2007, the plane touched down like a migrant bird. I am home, so I'm told. This is home. It was 13,000 kilometers and 38 hours. I am 12 years old, and the gum trees don't shuffle in the way I would have them. These migrant birds scream all wrong. They are not my kind. They know their place. It is in these suburbs. It is here. Under the endless blue sky, the sun is blinding and burning, scorching, nurturing, feeding on flaking white skin that rubs off in our sleep like snow in our sheets. All down the street are paddle pop wrappers, scattered by the milk bar. Miners fight the magpies over their liquefied contents, battling on burial grounds where bare feet on scalding pavement do not take the hint. How is it going to be, existing neither here nor there? Every roundabout offers only implications to the past, expectations of who I am to be. No matter which exit I take, that will always follow. Rising above about 13,000 kilometers and looking down at your 12-year-old self and everything that comes with it in a field of houses with single glazed windows, swimming pools empty or larvae filled, mailboxes full of real estate, your brother kicking the football across the quiet streets towards you but inevitably into neighboring yards. It never gets so cold as it once did. Your toes never threaten to fall off under the layers. Instead, they scuttle away from the carcass of a roadkill possum, feasted on by insects who also know their place in all this, while I, the poor possum, so much of me is spread wide in some space, to be inspected and pulled apart in strings. Isn't that what growing up is? But I wasn't meant to grow up here. I am home. This is home. Here I've stayed, despite my promises stuck and shifting my cold feet from side to side, arms up high with my fellow birds, screaming down beaches and rooftops, rooftops near beaches and rooftops near hills, looking for a bedroom with a sea view, so if I look, maybe I can see home.